In this chapter, you'll learn that even ordinary photos can be taken to a higher level by using the format tools and effects filters. And by combining photo impacts effects and a little creativity, we'll show you how you can apply some effects to this photo to make it appear older. First, you can quickly optimize this picture to make it look clearer. You'll find that all of the basic features for enhancing your images are under the format menu. The top selection is for the auto process features. When you select an auto process, they let Photo Impact automatically estimate and apply changes to your images, which is ideal for times when you want a quick fix. Choose Enhance from the auto process menu to automatically adjust and smooth the tones and improve overall image quality. The Level feature is another great tool for optimizing your images, letting you adjust the intensity of the image's shadows, midtones, and highlights. To adjust an image using Level, first click Undo to undo the Enhance function you just performed. Next, go to the Format menu and select Level. In the graph on the lower part of the Level window are three arrows. The one on the left controls the level of the black elements of the image, the arrow on the right adjusts the white, and the middle arrow adjusts the gamma. But for this example, we'll make things simple. You can shorten the range of the black and white points by just clicking on the Stretch button. Click OK. As you can see, the details of this photo are now more distinct. Now we can apply some effect filters. There are two ways to apply effects to your image. You can choose an effect from the Effect menu, or else you can use the Easy Palette to just drag and drop or double-click any preset effect from its galleries. The building in this photo is over 70 years old. To make this photo look more appropriate for this subject, you can make it into a black and white image. Go to the Effect Gallery and select the folder labeled Artistic. Now, click on the thumbnail labeled Duotone Effect 1. Now the color has been removed for your image, but it still doesn't look truly old. You can make this image look more authentic by giving it a grainier look. Again, go to the Easy Palette. This time, go to the Effect folder and click on the Noise category. Right-click on the filter labeled Add Noise 1 and select Modify Properties and Apply. Because this is now a black and white photo, you want to click on the Monochromatic feature to keep any color elements out of the photo. Click OK. Now with the filter applied, the picture looks much older. You can add a blur effect to a picture to suggest movement. Or in the case of this picture, it's a way to blur areas of an image like these more modern looking buildings surrounding the subject. To do this, you'll use one of Photo Impact's Blur filters. In the Easy Palette, select Blur. Then select Zoom Blur 8 by right-clicking on the thumbnail and selecting Modify Properties and Apply. You now have two windows, one that shows your image and the second that gives you a preview of how your effect will look. In the left window, click and drag the red spot to position the center of the blur on the upper part of the main building and to change where the focus of the effect will be. Set the Unblurred Area Radius setting to 100. Now set the Inward Blur Area to 70. Set the Surrounding Blur to 100. Finally, as the type of blur to apply, select Halo Out from the drop-down list. Click OK. In this chapter, we've given you a glimpse of how format tools and special effects can be used to enhance your images or to give them a bit of artistic flair. In the next chapter, we'll show you how Photo Impact works with colors.